Hello guys, how we doing? Uh, back again with another look. Um, that's a phone. This one is uh, a little bit topical because we've just had the release of the uh, the Moto G5. So I thought I'd use this to uh, reminisce slightly and uh, look back at the first gen Moto G. Um, so there we go. I think it was back in 2013, so that's four years ago. Uh, this little guy turned up and it basically shook the, the budget market for mobile phones. Um, <coughs> and what a great little phone it was. So basically, just have a quick look at the, the specs. Uh, it was, let's have a quick look now. This is the, the 8 gig version with the, the 4G option. They did have another option which was 16 gig, um, but only 3G. This one is a 720 by 1280 screen, which I've got to say, guys, it looks, it looks fantastic. You had a micro USB charging port at the bottom. Uh, volume up and down, power button, headphone jack, yeah they were all the rage back then guys, uh, nothing on the left hand side, on the back was your camera, uh, LED flash and the little, the little indented Motorola logo which became sort of synonymous with this type of phone, and on the back is your speaker. So I'm just trying to find uh, it's a Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 processor, uh, running at 1.2 gigahertz. You had the Adreno 305 GPU. Uh, the 8 gig version, which is what this is, does have a card slot. Uh, I've currently got a 32 gig card in there. Let's have a quick look. I've got three point or well, three and a half gig available roughly and nearly 30 gig on my SD card. So not too bad. This particular one's running Android 5.1 Lollipop. So not too bad. Different colours, um, and obviously by today's standards, it's not too brilliant. It, it sort of flows nicely. Uh, it does everyday tasks nice and smooth. A little bit of reload there, but uh, you know your phone still works nicely. CPU ID, there it says, Snapdragon 400, I think there's one gig of RAM, there uh, it says Adreno 305, Geekbench, nothing too exciting, a bit of history, so score of 436 and a multi score of 1108, so not brilliant by today's standards, but it was it was pretty nippy when it came out. They say it still still feels pretty nippy. Uh, what did we get on the Antutu? Was it this one? Twenty two point three four which again isn't fantastic. Uh, we've got the normal play store as we know it, we've got a camera. Pretty decent, let's just check the camera, it was a 5 megapixel camera on the back. It's got my mate clock working and a 1.3 megapixel on the front. So I think with these you just point and shoot don't you? I think you can move. And the pictures, 
gone too bad. I mean, again, did about right for what the era was. Um, yeah. Well, say so there you go. I mean, I think when this came out, it was around the £140 mark, I'm guessing. Um, £130, £140. And over the years, it's it's obviously progressed into the what we now know as the uh, Moto G5, which is still trying to keep that, that basic budget ethos. Um, but this is a great little phone, guys. I mean, obviously picked this up second hand, but it's, it's pretty much... Mint condition. Uh, the back does come off. Big uh, today to trim the nails, but uh, there we go. And on this one, you had your SIM card there and your expansion SD card there. Non removable battery. Uh, does it say what the battery is? Do, 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 do. Bear with me, guys. Uh, 2070 milliamp battery which for the the spec of foam uh, should easily get a day maybe a day and a half this one I've had charged up and it's, it's been on standby for about three days now so it's, it's still holding this charge pretty good after four years you did used to be able to get different colors on the back plate as well which were good for styling so there you go guys that's just a quick look back at the uh, the first Moto G, it may have sparked some memories for some of you. If it has, leave us a comment. Uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe. And I'll see you guys again in the next one. Bye for now.